Mike Aldrich, PGA Certified Professional with another exercise. One of the things that creates a lot of distance for people is the ability to separate. What we'll find is that really good golfers can move their shoulders independent of their hips and turn each one independently without having the other one move. Um, a lot of amateur golfers who don't hit it quite as far tend to have everything kind of move back and forth together and that impedes uh, maximizing your club head speed. So this is a very simple exercise uh, to increase your ability to separate. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by holding on to something. We're going to tuck our toes behind our uh, knee. There's a little crook in the back of your knee. We're going to tuck it right in there. And all we're going to do is simply cross over, cross over, cross over. And the reason we're holding on, and if you'll see my shoulders going the opposite way, what I want you to do is kind of do the twist. We're going to be moving the opposite way with our upper body than we are with our lower body. We're going to do about 12 on one side and then we're gonna do about 12 on the other side. Right now I'm using a wall, which is the easiest way to do. Um, what it does is it allows you to keep your balance, it allows you to do the motion purely. As you get better, you can use your driver for support, and if you really get good, I'm not sure I'm up to this today, but we'll give it a whirl. What we're gonna do is have nothing. Not hold on to anything. When you first hold on to nothing, I'd recommend being near some place that you can grab on. So again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to teach you how to separate your shoulder movement from your hip movement. After you do that for a while, you won't have to focus on it anymore. It's just going to happen, and you're going to hit the longest drives of your life. Thanks, and have a great day.